Okay, as soon as you're done with your air brakes test, you're going to move on to your in cab. You're going to keep your seat belt buckled and the tractor running. We're going to start with the windshield. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken, and it's clean. The windshield wipers are properly mount secured, they're not torn, cut, or frayed, and they spray properly. The mirrors are adjusted properly for me, and they're also clean. We're going to check the highway horn, city horn, and on a 20 inch wheel, I don't want more than 2 inches or 10 degrees of play. While we're at it, we're going to check our defrost, heater, make sure those blow properly. All right, we're gonna move on to our gauges, okay? Over here, we're looking at our oil pressure gauge. We wanna make sure it's working. It should be, be between 40 and 60 PSI, and both our fuel and def gauges are working. The air pressure gauges, you got your primary and secondary here. They need to be fully charged between 100 and 125 PSI. Our coolant needs to be rising. and needs to be between 180 and 200 degrees. In the middle here, you got a voltmeter. You want to make sure the voltmeter is between 12 and 14 volts. Then we're going to turn on our low beams, our high beams, our left turn signal, our right turn signal, and our four-way flashers. Make sure they come on. All right, and after that, that now concludes the in-cab inspection.